Welcome to the Rare History Channel. 14 Facts About Freddie Mercury That Will Rock You Best known for his flamboyant stage presence, effervescent personality, and unparalleled vocal ability, Freddie Mercury amazed audiences worldwide as the lead singer of the legendary rock band Queen until his untimely death on November 24, 1991, at the age of 45. In honor of this unparalleled musician's legacy, we're sharing the most unbelievable facts about Mercury's life that are guaranteed to blow your mind. Number 1. Freddie Mercury was a brilliant boxer. At school in India, the young Freddie Mercury was a good table tennis player. He used to play tennis sometimes, especially when he was on holiday, and enjoyed watching Wimbledon. He also liked watching rugby, but football and cricket did nothing for him. I loved cricket and long-distance running, I was completely useless at both. But I could sprint, I was good at hockey, and I was just brilliant in the boxing ring," he revealed. Number 2. His given name was Farrak Balsara. Freddie Mercury's birth name was Farrak Balsara. He, however, changed his name to Freddie when he was at St. Peter's, a boarding school in Mumbai. In 1970, he legally changed his name to Freddie Mercury around the time when Queen was formed. His parents, Bomi and Jabalsara, were Parsis from the Gujarat region of the then province of Bombay Presidency in British India. Number 3. Freddie Mercury was born in Zanzibar. Freddie Mercury was born on September 5, 1946, in the British Protectorate of Zanzibar. His parents had moved to Zanzibar where his father worked as a cashier at the British colonial office. Freddie, however, went back to India where he attended an English-style boarding school. He later returned to Zanzibar after graduating from high school. Shortly after, his family fled Zanzibar for safety reasons. They lived in a small house at 22 Gladstone Avenue in Middlesex, England. Number 4. He had an arts degree. Freddie Mercury got a degree in art and graphic design from Ealing Art College. This came in handy when he created the Queen emblem that featured the zodiac signs for the band members. They were, two lions for John Deacon and Roger Taylor, a cancer crab for Brian May and two fairies for his own Virgo star sign. Freddie Mercury created the band logo with their astrological signs even though he did not believe in astrology. Number 5. He had close relations with women. Freddie Mercury had many women in his life. They were not only his fellow artists whom he collaborated with, but also lovers. Despite this, Freddie was always celebrated as a gay frontman while others believed he was bisexual. He shared his apartment with Barbara Valentine, an actress who also featured in their music video, Hard Life. One woman who was believed to have had a very close relationship with Freddie was Mary Austin. They met in 1969 and almost got married. Although their relationship did not work out, Freddie left her half of his estate, royalties, and his Kensington home. Freddie considered her as his common-law wife. Number 6. Mercury dedicated his solo album to his beloved cats. Mercury was a known cat lover, having as many as ten at one time, all but one of whom were rescued from shelters. He would frequently call his cats from the road. Though he enjoyed the presence of all of his cats, he wasn't shy about which was his favorite, Delilah, whom he loved so much he wrote about her despite her peeing all over his Chippendale suit, as the lyrics go. As for Tom, Jerry, Oscar, and Tiffany, they earned a dedication in his 1985 solo album, Mr. Bad Guy. Number 7. He recorded with Michael Jackson. Another greatest artist that Freddie worked with was Michael Jackson. They recorded several songs together in 1983 which were released in the album Queen Forever in 2014. The songs were, There Must Be More to Life Than This, State of Shock and Victory. Number 8. His trademark bottomless mic happened by accident. This trademark went on to be synonymous with his stage performance. When he was performing at a show early in his career, his mic stand snapped mid-performance. Freddie did not replace it but continued performing. This scene was also recreated in the movie about his life, Bohemian Rhapsody. 
Number 9. Freddie Mercury's vocal range was remarkable. Freddie's speaking was in the baritone range, but he sang mostly in the tenor range. His known vocal range extended from bass low F2 to soprano high F6 as well as tenor high F5. David Brett, his biographer, described his voice as an escalation of deep throaty rock rel to tender vibrant tenor. Number 10. He loved art and his house was a testament to that. One unknown fact about Freddie is that paintings inspired his music. The song, The Fairy Feller's Masterstroke, was inspired by a painting he had seen at the Tate Gallery in London. Freddie loved going to art galleries to draw inspiration from other artists. He also collected a lot of art, mostly Japanese, which he filled in his house. Freddie said that he loved to be surrounded by things, hence frequent visits to art auctions. Number 11. Freddie never got his teeth fixed because of his vocals. Freddie Mercury was born with four extra teeth in the back of his mouth. This caused his now famous bucktooth grin. Growing up, he was nicknamed Bucky. He however never got his teeth fixed because he feared it would mess with his vocals. Number 12. Freddie Mercury was an avid stamp collector. He was a philatelist, a person who collects stamps. Freddie had an extensive stamp collection that is exhibited at stamp shows and museums throughout the world under his birth name of Farrak Balsara. This hobby was inspired by his father which he built up between the ages of 9 and 12. His dad, who saved his stamp collection, auctioned both their collections where the National Postal Museum purchased them in 1993. Number 13. He was friends with Bowie and Elton John. Freddie had close friendships with both Bowie and Elton John. His nickname for Elton John was Sharon. After his death, a package wrapped in a pillowcase was sent to Sir Elton John with the name Sharon on it. These two were known to be party animals, but Elton was quoted saying Freddie was more of the party animal. Freddie and Bowie on the other hand met during their humble beginnings. Bowie invited Freddie to help him out build a stage at a club Bowie was set to perform. Later on, the two gave the world one of their greatest collaborations of all time, under pressure. Number 14. Mercury announced his AIDS diagnosis the day before he died from the disease. While the date of Mercury's AIDS diagnosis has not been confirmed, it is widely speculated that it was sometime around 1987 due to his increasingly gaunt appearance and the end of Queen's touring. After becoming rather reclusive in the last two years of his life, Mercury released a statement confirming his diagnosis on November 23, 1991 a day before his death, saying, I felt it correct to keep this information private in order to protect the privacy of those around me. However, the time has now come for my friends and fans around the world to know the truth, and I hope everyone will join me, my doctors and all those worldwide in the fight against this terrible disease. Mercury's close friend Dave Clark, of the Dave Clark Five, was alone with Mercury when he passed. Though Mercury's announcement sparked outrage amongst many in the community who believed he could have been critical in raising awareness and funding towards the cause during his life, his death inspired many conversations about HIV and AIDS, resulting in millions raised in his memory.